Hey everybody, this is Tony the Gun Guy with ConcealedArmsAndHomeDefense.com. Today here on the table I've got a new version of the Emperor Arms MP TAC-12 pump 12 gauge shotgun. It does have a few um, improvements or differences from the original ones that I had in. So let me go over that real fast and then I'll talk a little bit about 12 gauge pump or a 12 gauge semi-automatic for home defense. Uh, here on the back you can see it does have a recoil pad. You do have a shell holder here so you can put two uh, other shot shells in here. Uh, what I've got here right now is two and three quarter inch so you do have some space there if you wanted to have three inch it will hold them as well. Uh, do have a little screw here. Uh, doesn't have a sling attachment but you can take that screw out and put a, a sling attachment there if you want to but here on the front of the stock you do have QD uh, quick detach locations here for you to be able to mount a sling here this is a pistol grip stock it's uh, synthetic and this has a little rubber grip on it but it is nice and firm do have your traditional safety cross bolt receiver Here's your logo, here's your model, here's your chamber. You do have chrome lining inside the chamber. Uh, it's a dual action bar pump. Uh, you do have your release right here on top of the receiver. On your rear side, it is windage and elevation adjustable Picatinny rail, 18 and a half inch barrel and your front sight is a fiber optic uh, front sight. Here on the forearm you do have Picatinny here and in my opinion if you're using this for home defense put a light. A light is a must, a good light. Definitely something that will take uh, recoil. I recommend O-lights because they're good but cheaper compared to like a stream light. I have both you know, when I got money to blow, I'll go ahead and get a stream light, but otherwise, O light is great. They're usually half the price. Uh, magazine tube here is four plus one on two and three quarters. Excuse me, on three inch shells, it's it's four plus one, but I believe it's five plus one if you load this up with uh, two and three quarter. Um, okay, that's the features of the gun, and this is a pump. Some of you, a lot of my audience is uh, buying guns right now for home defense. I'm selling tons of shotguns, and you, a lot of them are buying 12 gauge shotguns, and you may have the question of pump or semi-automatic. I'm just going to cover just a few points, and so that you can decide. I can't tell you really which one is better. They both have pros and cons, but I just mentioned here a few things on the pump. These guys are not sensitive at all to what you want to shoot in them. They don't care what type of shell and they don't care how much velocity it has. So if you want to shoot birdshot um, or buckshot or slugs right off the bat, throw it in there, it'll work fine. It'll eat up two and three quarter or three inch and it will eat up low velocity shells and high velocity. It doesn't care. So you don't have to worry about getting this gun and, and breaking it in uh, like you would a semi-automatic. A lot of semi-automatics uh, gasp are um, picky. They do like uh, to be broken usually with like something like a 1325 high velocity. But they do have a break in. They are picky. You will have, might have some jams and whatnot until you get that gun broke in. But on a pump, you don't have that. Now, a pump, uh, you need to practice and you need to learn how to load this gun and then pump this action. Uh, you can short stroke it and if you short stroke it, you're not going to get a shell up into the chamber and it's not going to go bang when you pull the trigger. So you do have need to be able to practice it a little bit. Uh, the gun is unloaded. You do have, like I say, your release right here to release. But you need to make sure that you can Push this all the way forward and pull this forearm all the way back to get a shell fully loaded into the chamber. And if you can't do that, it's what's called short stroking. And um, again, you're not going to fully load something up into the chamber there to go bang when you pull the trigger. So that's kind of something you need to be aware of of a 
12 gauge pumps is short stroking this uh, semi-automatic you don't have that problem pull the trigger bang 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 you know as long as you got shells in it um, it'll automatically load them up and it's a usually you can shoot those a little faster than you can a pump but you know I've been shooting pumps I don't know 50 years now so uh, I can shoot them pretty fast uh, fast enough that I feel confident with it in a, a home defense scenario now um, semi-automatics uh, again, I just mentioned they're probably faster, but they are picky on ammo on a break-in So you do need to break the gun in and get familiar with it what it will shoot and won't shoot and cycle the uh, Shells into the chamber correctly So uh, they are a little bit more expensive pumps are not as expensive. So these are a great you know entry gun that will work reliably as long as you can work the action on this and semi-automatics have a little bit more of a break-in and they're more expensive so there's you know just a couple little points there uh, to consider I don't like to go into a lot of detail if you have other questions I can give you more pointers or more tips on what I think uh, are more pros and cons uh, or if you want to put them yourself down in the description down below feel free to do that uh, I'm always welcome to anything you guys uh, want to add but that's just kind of keeping it simple and again a lot of the people that are buying right now are first-time buyers and uh, so again just keep it simple um, Emperor Arms has a one-year full warranty they're in Fort Myers they're easy to work with if you do have something but mechanically these guns are good and sound and solid uh, I've got one that I've kept now for five years I shoot it at least a couple times every year I've never had any problems with it and uh, they are a budget entry but they do have a lot of good features to them for the money you can't beat them and uh, I wouldn't have any problem with these being used for home defense in fact I mean I do I have a uh, one loaded up ready to go all the time for home defense uh, this is a as you can see a black synthetic stock gun synthetic forearm here with the Picatinny here on the bottom uh, synthetic black stock with a recoil pad on it pistol grip pistol grip you know gives you a little bit more um, options for how you can shoot this gun and you know you can shoot it around corners and stuff and one-handed and uh, you have a little bit more uh, options as to you know uh, you can be in your house around a corner and and, sh and stick this out you know just holding the pistol grip and you could actually fire it you know just like this um, so I recommend pistol grip shotguns for home defense but really any shotguns fine uh, but that does give you a little bit more flexibility as to you know shooting it so guys that's it I like to keep my videos short and if you do have questions call me text me email me whatever put something down below i'll get back to you pretty fast right now i'm a little bit slower than usual because the volume is just uh, uh horrendous right now i guess you'd say and uh as always please like and subscribe and god bless have a good day